Totally do hippies. Welcome to another episode of Lion Fish. Today I got a good buddy of mine, haven't seen in 12 years, going to uh, see if he uh, still remembers how to fish or not. He uh, has his doubtery that I can catch anything, just like everybody else, uh, but we'll see how we do. Something whip, something snap at it? No, I got it rigged up right now, the blade's coming up around Oh, I might have the snook, buddy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, that was the snook. Oh no, and he broke my lure off. Oh, damn it, Matt. Oh. Well, that's what I get for using this shitty fly line. You know, I bought this fly line because it was lighter and All right, well, I got some footage. Damn, that's some bolt. You got it, Matt? All right, brother. <laughs> Let me get that net out. All right, so my homeboy here can catch a fish. Don't know what he's got. That's probably just a damn bluegill. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, he ain't jumping like a peacock. Oh, good thing I got this going. All right, hippies. So I can't catch a fish, but my buddy here can. <laughs> I'm saying it's between 30 and 40 pounds. Could be a bluefin tuna. Here he comes to jump. Oh, it's a snook. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's definitely about 35 pounds. We'll get this thing edited. They got a gill plate, don't they? Yeah, but you ain't gonna bother. You can, you can lip him. Hell yeah, Matt. That's a that's the first freshwater snook, right? Yeah. Man, let me get some good video footage of him. Yeah. We'll throw him back. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm just glad I'm just glad you caught a damn fish, man. You don't always start out like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's man, this is this is uh above normal. Normally everybody I take fishing. We don't really catch anything. I promise all these good fishing and everything. Let's see if I can get find my damn leader. Okay, good. I brought the good leader. Thank God. That's what I should have put on the first time. Instead of buying the $15 fly line, I should just use the $4 McCrap stick. I'm trying not to get shit at all. Iguanas love these little berries on these things. I know there's one up here. It's, it's, she's just waiting to take a piss on me. <laughs> Is that what they do? Yeah, they wait for you to get underneath and then they shit this liquid, solid diarrhea piss looking stuff. It's freaking gross, man. That's why I'm trying to keep you away from these little, but I'm not seeing any iguanas. That seems like a, what is he? British brother. Oscar? Oh yeah, you got an Oscar, man. <laughs> My boy can't catch fish around here. What about them, gill plates? Nope, they're just really, really slimy and uh, let me get a picture of you with him though. That thing's a hog, man. Tiger Oscar. Oh. <laughs> That's where you'll catch your jaguar uh, quapote if it's there. They hide underneath those mats. They're a cool fish. Um, real teethy. Uh oh. That sound good? Oh, he's on a rock. I can't tell what this is. Oh, jag jaguar. And he's wrapped around something. Oh, something. You need a hand? 
Oh, I think I'll be able to flip him up in here. Got him. That's Jaguar Guapote. I love these guys. He's not foul hooked. He's just uh, wrapped around something on his belly. Oh, he's even got that pretty blue on him. Yeah, he's only got one tooth, but usually they are really toothy. All right, the guide can catch a fish. Brother, I think we got enough footage for the first time I've ever gonna be able to make a fishing video here. Like, a, <laughs> and he stabbed me in the hand. Gonna put, put one up for 10 minutes left? Yeah, 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 this one might, we might make four and a half on that one. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, we've been fishing 10 hours and caught three fish. That's one hell of a day. <laughs> now, if we can get if we can get you to catch a uh, peacock bass and a uh, jaguar, like I caught, we've done the unofficial slam, <laughs> the invasive slam. That, that's a really good spot over there, by the way. That uh, gets pretty shallow. 